All right, this is Mark, and uh, I got another video for you guys today. And uh, this is gonna be my uh, 2016 Money in the Bank uh, picks. And uh, we got two pre-show matches. It's our Truth and Goldust and Fandango and Tyler Breeze. I hate this feud. I hate the two teams. I just see Goldust and our Truth picking up the win. Uh, next, we got the Dudleys and Lucha Dragons. I think the Lucha Dragons win, and they get beat up by the Dudleys at the end and put through a table. That's what I think was going to happen there. Lucha Dragons get the victory. Uh, then we go to the pay-per-view. We got Baron Corbin and Dolph Ziggler for the third time. At least this time's on the pay-per-view. It's not for the pre-show title, which I thought this match was going to be again on the pre-show. Thank God. Uh, payback was just stupid. Ziggler picking up the win, which made Baron Corbin look stupid. And then, in an ODQ match, Baron Corbin wins with a low blow. Not even an extreme match, nothing. Nothing happened in the match at all. And with a low blow, which sucked. Uh, extreme moves pre-show, that was dumb. Uh, this time it's on the pay-per-view, I see Baron Corbin winning. There's no need for Ziggler to win this match, and Corbin should win. Uh, next we got Dana Brooke and uh, Charlotte against Becky Lynch and Natalia. I see Charlotte and Dana Brooke winning, and Sasha coming in at, out, out at the end, and challenging Charlotte for the title at SummerSlam, or some way, uh, maybe coming in and beating up Charlotte or something, setting up a match at SummerSlam for the title, for the women's title. Uh, then we got Rusev and Titus O'Neil. I see Rusev beating Titus O'Neil, with the help of Lana probably. So I see Rusev keeping the US title. No. Not too interested in this match. <laughs> uh, then I see we have uh, AJ Styles and John Cena. This, I hope AJ Styles wins. Hope he be wins cleanly. And uh, if the match happens again after that, on another show or pay per view, or whatever, and I hope John Cena just keeps winning by DQ or count out. And then he can't beat AJ Styles. He hope he doesn't bury him. I hope AJ keeps winning all the matches. But it's probably not going to happen. He's Super Cena, and he doesn't deserve a title shot if he beats AJ, because AJ lost his matches against Roman Reigns, so John Cena should not get a title shot if he beats AJ Styles. But I want to see AJ win the match cleanly with no interference. That would be a good start for the Bullet Club. That would be awesome. And then we got a fatal four-way for the tag team titles with the New Day defending against Enzo and Cass, the Bob Villains, and... The Bullet Club, Anderson and Gallows. I want to see Anderson and Gallows win that match. That would make the Bullet, Cl Bullet Club look very, very strong and have a great pay-per-view. That would be awesome for the Bullet Club. Uh, Enzo and Cass, Vince doesn't think they're ready. He hits them all villains, but I think that the New Day have been tag champs long enough. And they're good, good team. I like, them. I like all four teams, but I want to see the Bullet Club win it. And... Uh, we got Apollo Crews and Sheamus on this pay-per-view too, so they moved it from the pre-show, so it's on the main card, so that's cool. Uh, I see Apollo Crews beating Sheamus and picking up his first WWE uh, pay-per-view win. And then we got Dean Ambrose, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, Jericho, Alberto Del Rio, and uh, Dean Ambrose and Cesaro, uh, yeah, Cesaro, I should say, in the Money in the Bank ladder match. And uh, I don't see Cesaro winning it. I'd like to see maybe Dean win it, that would be good, because then it would keep that Shield three way possibility for SummerSlam. That would be cool. They've been trying to set up that three way Shield for a long time now. But I think Kevin Owens will win this match. I just got that feeling. It, he's the best heel they got right now, and it would be awesome. Kevin Owens should win Money in the Bank. That would be tremendous. Because Zayn, Del Rio, Jericho, Cesaro, Ambrose. Yeah, I think Owens should win that match. And the final match of the car of the on the card will be, of course, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. I think Seth Rollins wins by DQ. Because uh, Dean Ambrose comes in and tries to help Roman. And somehow gets Roman disqualified. So... I say Roman, either Roman beats Seth, or there's a DQ 
and I think it'll probably be a DQ because then they'll have a rematch at SummerSlam probably. So I see Seth winning the match by DQ, but Roman walking out the still champion. So those were my picks for 2016 Money in the Bank. Thank you for watching.